Good morning. Well, I guess it doesn't matter because you guys could be watching this video at any point of the day, any time. But anyway, it is morning here and we are going to get to work on the step side. If you're just tuning in to the channel, hit that like, hit that subscribe. And if you want to see this become a fuel injection truck, you've tuned into the right channel because what we have here is a 1996 5 out of a wrecked Ford Bronco and an E4OD transmission slash manual. I don't remember, this is a Borg Warner. It's out of the 96 Bronco as well. Uh, it's the 96 manual shift transfer case, not the electronic BS. This all came out of an XL model uh, Bronco that got totaled. So today what we're gonna be doing <clears throat> So we're going to be getting rid of that transmission transfer case combo that's in here. It's a 205 and C6 automatic. All righty, guys. Kyle's not over here yet, but I want to show you something. So here's what I'm working on. Got to get this cross brace out. But good old Ford engineer, engineers back in the day, this cross brace goes up and it ties into the frame up there. There's two bolts there with this stupid mouth. It's got to come off of here in a minute. And there's no way to get the bolts out of there without dropping the whole front axle brackets to get this out. So I'm going to Papa's, we're going to get the torch, and I'm going to cut this sucker right here. And I'm going to cut it over here all the way through, put a transmission jack right here and a, a jack here, and then we're going to lower it down. And then once we get this out of the way, then we'll come back and get this piece out and that piece out. I'm done. I'm done messing with this. It needs to come out. It needs to come out now. Alrighty, guys. Let me put my rolling out of the driveway here. I'm going to go ahead and time lapse on over to Papa's. I haven't done one of these in a long time. It's been a long time since I filled off Z GoPro, but uh, six liters riding riding and driving nice. It's due for a service. I do an oil change on it, but uh, yeah, just got off the phone Papa. He's got a, he's making up a to-go torch for me. He's got a couple different torches. And uh, Kyle just got off the phone with him. He'll be over as soon as I go get the torch and get back over here. And we're gonna cut that sucker out of that truck. Done. Done, done. Here, Finery. He's uh, back and it's, it's, it's Kyle. It's All right, guys, went to Papa's, as you've seen in the time lapse. I didn't really um, feel much over at Papa's house. Got back here, unloaded the torch, got a brand new torch head. So Kyle's gonna do some cutting because I hate torch work. Yeah. I guess this is a good way to put it. Really? What yeah. else do we, can we clean? We're already on fire. What? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> well, what can we do? What do you want? I mean, can we There's, do anything? It needs to be cleaned. So how? Like real cleaned. How are we gonna do that? Take number two. Yeah.
Helmet's not working. Transmission's on fire. Working on it. There you go. Yep, she's loose. That head is nice. Looking good. Looking balanced. It's not horrible. I'm just having to put a little bit of downward pressure, so. That's the ground. All right, so I let go of it, sorry. Oh, no, you're fine. Okay, I'm gonna get into the, I'm gonna walk into the engine bay. Uh-huh. I'm gonna, oh no, that's not, you got all the weight back there, don't you? Yeah, well, let go. Okay, let going. I mean, I got a hold of it. It's... If I lifted the front up, Look. Hey, can yeah. we, if we lift the front up, can we get the jack from out from underneath of it? And pull, oh, shit. The, <laughs> pull the training jack out of the way. All right, three, two, one. Got it. A Are you gonna get stuck in there? No. What are we doing? Hold on. Shit. Okay. You good? <laughs> Holy shit, I scratched the ass concrete. The ass concrete? The ass. That's okay, we're sealing this anyways. We're gonna... uh, hey, we made it. <laughs> All right, guys, it's out of the truck. What an adventure. All right, guys, that concludes this episode. We have got the transmission out. I think the next step is going to be getting the five liter parts ordered. I know that there was a couple of you that had some parts from my boy, an air box and some other stuff. I have not forgot about you. It's just been a little busy and hectic trying. We got to get some uh, hats made so we have some merch to give back to you guys for giving us parts. So yes. stay tuned for that. Do you have anything to add in this episode? Uh, yeah, Chris, the one who came up with the name out there. I haven't forgot about you. Like James said, it's been a little bit hectic. Um, we're working on getting merch and all of that stuff taken care of. So I will email you back to get addresses, all of that type of stuff. So with that being said, guys, stay tuned for the next 7850 project. Don't have a name for this project, but Project EFI here, electronic fuel injection. Yeah. It's gonna be really fun. I can't wait to get this truck on the road. It's actually, all right guys, um, we're going to sign off on this episode and jump right into another episode. So we will see you on the next one. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs>